Good morning, everyone. Stray Dog Bill Arnold, a.k.a. Stray Dog Billy here. I, again today with my daughter, Erin. We're, we're going to be doing the song number uh, 1220. In 1220 days in a row, we started doing one song, or I started doing one song every day on August 7th of 2020. Uh, and uh, here we are, uh, more than three years later, doing uh, number 12, uh, 1220. And we're going to keep on doing one song every day until... Homeless dogs and cats are no longer killed, no longer euthanized in the kill shelters across our country because when the shelters run out of space, they have nothing, there's nothing else they can do. We understand that. It's a horrible tragedy, but they have to start killing, euthanizing the poor dogs and cats who have been there longest to make room for incoming rescues. We are still, as a society, allowing this to happen. We're killing over a thousand per day still. Every single day is the average, over a thousand. And it was back in 2011, it was 7,000 per day. So it's come down a lot. We got down to at least 1,000 now. That's still way too much. And back in 1970, believe it or not, 41,000 dogs and cats were killed on the average every single day, 41,000 per day, 15 million that year. That's how bad the problem was then. Now we got it down to 1,000 a day now. That's a lot better than 41,000. Let's get it down to zero. How do you do that? Spay and neuter everybody. We got to get everybody on board. We have to get complete control of conception in the dog and cat world and only allow them to procreate, only allow conception to happen when we guarantee, we as a society will guarantee that every dog and cat in the, in the, in the litter uh, is uh, going to be taken care of for the rest of their lives. This is what we've got to get to this point and and we can do it through getting everybody on board with spay and neuter so that we only produce enough that we can take care of every single one of them. Good morning, Erin. Hi. Uh, we're gonna be doing the song uh, uh, called uh, Superstition Stevie Wonder Tune today. And uh, it's, uh, uh, it's kind of, a, it's a neat song. And, <laughs> and so are we ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. And start the drums. Oh. Here we go.
Please, everybody, spay and neuter your pets. Let's keep control of conception in the dog and cat world. Spay and neuter your pets. Adopt from a shelter. That at least saves the, the ones who are already here. This is the biggest tragedy is that we kill the ones who have already been born. Just a terrible tragedy. We can stop it. we got to do that. And also, please check out StrayDog.org. Aaron's mom and I started that shelter in 1994, almost 30 years ago, 29 years ago now. And we, we became a Texas non poverty nonprofit corporation in 1997 which led to applying for and receiving from the IRS in 1998 501c3 tax exempt status that makes all donations big and small all donations to the shelter tax deductible to the fullest extent of the law and we still have our 501c3 today we're being led now by my second wife Juana Vasquez Arnold who had worked for that in the earlier years and she knew how to run the shelter and uh, so we're in good hands with, with Juana now running the shelter. And, uh, and uh, so please uh, go online if you could and make a donation to Stray Dog. Uh, it, it's, uh, it costs a lot more money to run a no-kill dog shelter because we don't kill any of the animals. We don't have that option. We don't want that option. We don't, we're, that's what no-kill dog shelter is. And hopefully soon all shelters will become no-kill dog shelters and then we won't be doing this one song a day anymore once, once we get a hold of the problem. So what, 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 do, what do we do at Stray Dog? We do adoption days. That's one of the most important things because we take a van load of dogs to Dallas every week. And over the last 20 years, we've adopted out over a thousand dogs and, uh, and once in a while cats, we, do, we rescue cats if they come along and uh, take care of them too. But uh, we're mainly a dog shelter. So what else do we do besides uh, our adoption days every week? Aaron? Complete medical care. Yeah, complete medical care, and that uh, that uh, that takes a, a tremendous amount of funding, as you can imagine. If you've only got a couple of pets, we got 160, about more or less, and uh, the population grows up a little and goes down a little, depending on adoptions. And so uh, we do uh, the complete medical care costs a lot of money, so we do need your help. With that, what else do we do at Stray Dog? Well, the meals, two meals a day, plus uh, treats and sometimes third meals for the sick, sicker dogs that yeah. need it. Or, or sometimes if they don't eat, then they'll go back yeah. again with the, they save yeah. their bowl and go back and try to feed them again later, hand feed them, uh, which they, for some reason, they won't eat out of their own bowl, but they will always eat if you hand feed them. <laughs> the older which, ones especially. Yeah, yeah. Okay, then what, park time, park walk times? Yeah, there's two big parks at Stray Dog, uh, uh, and uh, we uh, take the dogs, the dog walkers take them to the park and let them play for 10 or 15 minutes, and then they go back to their kennels. They all look forward to their park time walks, and what else we have? Well, we got the kennel crew that cleans up their kennels. Yes. Those are large, those are large, you have to fill in holes and um, pick up the poop. Yeah. And so, and so there's no order at Stray Dog. Everybody who visits Stray Dogs, that's one of the first things they say. So it doesn't smell like it. Would, you would think a dog shelter would smell like it, but because they pick up the poop all the time and fill in the holes and, and check the fencing and so forth to make sure there's no escapes. Okay, what else we have? We have the caregiving rounds where the caregiver goes into each kennel and talks and plays with them. And yeah. Yeah, that's very important. The dogs all look forward to that, and they get treats too. They get treats, yeah. Then, yeah. 
Yeah, uh, so the, the caregivers go in, they oh, give they, them. Oh, they check them over too. You know, oh, yeah. For any, if there's any, anything. For anything, fleas yeah. or whatever. Yeah, I mean, we yeah. keep them on flea medicine, but anything that might be wrong, if they yeah. hurt their foot or whatever. Yeah, yeah they do. Them. Yeah, that's right. It's check kind them. of an inspection, a medical inspection. Yeah. And then we also do uh, the twenty four seven uh, coverage. So yeah. You have your night shift person that does the medicines, the, well, some walks. Yeah, right? and yeah. I think it starts preparing the meals. For, so when the yeah. crew comes in at six a.m., they're ready to feed. Uh, and so, so that yeah, that they, they, I'm pretty sure they get that all done too. Okay, we'll be back again. You're not in your place now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're gonna be. Uh, oh yeah, no, I didn't talk about this. Yeah, the, the, please go on. Uh, there's a video that's up on, on straydog.org. You go to uh, click on About Us, Our Story, and then the history paragraph, the first paragraph, there's uh, all the other paragraphs or the later years. And at the end of that first paragraph, you can click on the word here, and it uh, introduces a, uh, a video that I helped uh, make back in uh, about five years ago. Uh, and it shows... Uh, it, it, it shows uh, some drone shots, so you get to see the whole th the thing. You get to see the parks. It's got some clips in it from Pat Arnold uh, back in uh, 1998 video that we made. And it has some clips of that uh, showing how different the shelter is now from the way it was then. And so, uh, yeah, check that video out if you could. And there are other videos on the straydog.org also that you can check out. Okay, we'll be back again tomorrow with another song from Stray Dog Billy and Aaron.